Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, back with a Firewall Zero Hour video. This one is all about the new updates, aka Operation Nightfall, and the issues that this update has brought to the game. The backlash from the community and some other stuff too, so let's just jump right in. So the Operation Nightfall update launched on Tuesday the 21st, as was promised, but for many people, including myself, it was completely unplayable. A few seconds after booting the game and you go to the main menu, the game would then just immediately blue screen crash back to the PlayStation menu and this was very common, it wasn't just me, many of you were all experiencing this. Now a workaround for this was to use an alternate account because for some reason that would work for people. It was speculated that the reason for this had something to do with how many PSN friends you had. If you had over a certain amount, the game would crash and if you have an alternate account, you're less likely to have lots of friends on that account, hence why that seemed to be working for people. That's a theory anyway. But even if you could get past the blue screen, there was still a myriad of connection issues that was preventing people from enjoying the new updates. So within 24 hours, First Contact Entertainment released update 1.19, which did eliminate the blue screen crashing that many were experiencing, but it didn't seem to address any of the other issues which are still here right now two days later. So let's talk a little bit about these issues. The main issue right now is that it's very difficult to get into a match as part of a squad with teammates frequently losing connection and squad leaders often getting stuck in an infinite black screen requiring a reboot of the game in many instances. So that's the biggest problem we're facing right now but players are also noticing other strange changes or maybe bugs. Player health seems to have been increased significantly which seems to be a bug I don't think it's intentional and this has had people wondering if guns have been nerfed and all this kind of stuff we have been told since that there's been no nerfs to guns also there's anti-aliasing which no longer seems to function for those of us on ps4 pros at least I can't notice a difference anymore and then next up we have the intentional design decisions that are rubbing some players the wrong way but these are more subjective so first up is the removal of the ability to join on a friend while they are in the matchmaking screen. Now the reason for this, I assume, is to prevent boosting. So for example, you could join on a friend, end up on his opposing team because his squad is already full, and then you could either feed him or her intel, or you could trophy boost. And now of course with the introduction of missions, you could pretty easily grind missions out by exploiting that method. So now if you wanna play with your friends, you'll have to squad up in the main menu first, which is what I was always doing anyway, and is how it was originally intended to be. So it doesn't affect me too much, but some players are very much against this change. So it'll be interesting to see your first contact entertainment stick to their guns on this one. Next up then is the new UI, which appears to be divisive in terms of whether or not it's an improvement over the original. I personally love it, it's way sleeker looking, but I do recognize it's not perfect. It does seem to take some time for it to load in preview icons in the customization menu, which I don't like. So hopefully that can be improved in the future and it takes an extra few clicks to view all the contractors, which doesn't bother me too much, but I can see why it would bother others. But overall, I still prefer the new menu. I love that we can customize out our contractors in the lobby now and you know all that good stuff. I also like the daily tasks and weekly missions because it's just nice to have goals. Of course, I also hope that First Contact Entertainment will extend the time limit that we have to achieve these goals because right now, it's almost impossible to complete them with all the disconnects going on. So another design change made by First Contact Entertainment was the new way in which the contractors are displayed in the lobby. So they no longer mimic your gun movement one to one, instead they play out these canned animations so like one teammate will sit spread legged on a chair, the other one stands up, the other one squats down. I find this one of the stranger decisions made by the team and I'd love to hear if there was a particular reason for that change, like was it because it looks less janky this way or is it less demanding on the hardware to do it this way? Either way, interesting change. So with all these issues, many people in the firewall community are understandably disappointed and even critical of some of the changes that they don't like but then there's some people in the community who are taking things a bit too far acting like their lives are over or that first contact entertainment employees should be fired over this or even making allegations that first contact entertainment only care about the paid dlc and don't care about making the game any good which when you think about it is actually some really stupid logic not only because they have a reputation as a company to maintain 
but because they'll actually sell less DLC if the game isn't functioning. So this is not what they want at all, and you can bet your ass that they're working theirs off right now to get it fixed. They've already got one fix out, so I'm sure the next patch will be out as soon as possible on their end. So that's it for this video, lads and ladies. I'm going to make another video when Nightfall is working correctly, where I'll go over the other changes and additions, but right now, I can barely get a game in so I can't really talk about it much. There's also a developer diary that First Contact Entertainment released on Monday where they teased future maps and some other stuff and I will go over that too in more detail when I get a chance. For now though, let me thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support and if you want to help me out and stay up to date with all things Firewall, then consider doing all that usual shite. I'll see you in the next one, bye for now. So this is just a quick little bonus kind of update that has happened since I started recording this. So I'm just adding that at the end of this video. So there has been an update posted over on Discord by First Contact Entertainment Trevor. And he says, at the moment we are focusing on getting fixes out. We have a patch in the works that needs to go through the ringer. There will be at least one patch before the weekend and we'll be working continuously to get more fixes out as quickly as we can. All I can ask is that people are patient. So that's the update we got from First Contact Entertainment's end. Hopefully this patch that's coming before the weekend will be one that will allow us to get into games a bit easier. Fingers crossed. And okay, now I will end the video.